Hello YouTube. Big fin squids are a group of rarely seen cephalopods with a distinctive morphology. They are placed in the genus Magnapina and family Magnapinida. Although the family is known only from larval, paralarval, and juvenile specimens, some authorities believe adult specimens have also been seen. And what a spectacle it is. Several videos have been taken of the animals nicknamed the long arm squid, which appear to have a similar morphology, since none of the seemingly adult specimens has ever been captured or sampled, it remains uncertain if they are of the same genus or even relatives. We don't know a lot about our oceans. Or let's put it this way. We know very little about what's down below in the oceans. And I made it my purpose in research to study unidentified submersible objects. But with this, comes interest in other life form at the bottom of the oceans that we, we really find out about. So let me tell you today about the big fins. A rare photo of Magna Pena, the deep sea squid, was obtained in 2007 by Shell Oil's autonomous vehicle at the depth of 2,386 meters. Imagine. This species of squid lives at great depths and is distinguished by long, thin tentacles. In adults, they can reach almost 6 meters in length. Their eating behavior is mysterious since scientists have not yet observed them in the wild. However, it can be assumed that they are predators like most cephalopods. It is assumed that big fins use their incredibly long, relative to the body size, tentacles to grab unsuspecting creatures from the ocean floor and feed on them. Or they use them as fishing rods, dangling them until an unlucky sea creature stumbles upon them and the squid catches it with its tentacles. In any case, this is almost a real war, war of the world's for any small organisms on the ocean floors, floor. The arms and tentacles of the squid are both extremely long and believed to be actually four to eight meters long. These appendages are held perpendicular to the body, creating elbows, so to say. Now, the first record of this family comes from a specimen caught of the Azores in 1907. There, I'm sure there have been other sightings and uh, the Gulf of Mexico um, and the local Indians, the, the, the tribes that existed there for thousands of years are gone now. And I'm, the Seminoles are, are late comers to the land that I really respect Seminoles and their history. But it was the Calusa Indians that might have, might have seen something. I spent some time in Florida doing research, and I've heard a few things. Anyway, so in 1956, a similar squid was caught in the South Atlantic, but little was thought of it at the time. The first visual record of the long-armed squid was in September of 1988. The crew of the submersible Nautil encountered, encountered a long-armed squid of the coast of northern Brazil. In July 1992, the Nautil again encountered these creatures, first observing one individual two times during a dive of the coast of Ghana at 3,010 meters depth, and then another one of Senegal at 2,950 meters down below. In November of 1998, the Japanese crewed submersible Shinkai 6500 filmed another long arm squid in the Indian Ocean south of Mauritius, and that was at 2,340 meters. 
Now, the oil drilling ship Millennium Explorer in January of 2000 at the Mississippi Canyon in the Gulf of Mexico filmed a big fin at 2,195 meters. Just so that you understand, for those who don't do meters much, it's 7,201 foot. By comparison with the visible parts of the remotely operated vehicle, the squid was estimated to measure 7 meters, 23 feet, with arms fully extended. So the remotely operated vehicle Atalanta filmed another Indian Ocean specimen at 2,576 meters. That was in the area of the Rodriguez Island and was in May 2000. Indian Ocean is a fascinating body of water and I often discuss some of the very unusual expeditions there during the Soviet times. But the, in October of 2000, the crude submarine submersible Alvin found another long arm squid at 1,940 meters in the Atwater Valley Gulf of Mexico. And in November of 2021, a video of the long arm squid was captured at a ridge feature of the West Florida escarpment by a remote the operated vehicle from the um, Okeanos Explorer as part of the Windows to the Deep 2021 expedition. The squid was found at the depth of 2,385 meters and its size is currently being measured using paired lasers. Cur currently, there are officially three known species of big fin squid. This is what we know. And it's fascinating how many strange animals we do not know about when it comes to the depths down below. And uh, I, I, I mentioned Florida. It's a fascinating place. Uh, there are interesting legends that probably go back, I don't want to say thousands, but centuries. Very few people know about them. But you can see a lot of interesting things. So sometimes you may be fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, don't be surprised if you see unusual animals. I'm sure people in Florida will add to what I say. So those are the big fins. And in the future, I'll bring you more information about unusual sea creatures. Thank you for your attention to my work. And if you can support it, please do so through the links you'll find in the description to this video. Please like my channel. Please tell others.